I'm Peter Block here in Chicago at ACC 16, and with me is Tim Henry from Cedar sinai We have been talking about stem cell therapy for a long time, Tim, and a lot of studies have not really been very impressive, and now it looks like we may have a peek into something that's positive. So Tim, tell me about the study that you've reported on and the exciting things that may come out of this. So Peter, that trial's called Ixcel DCM. And the trial is designed for class three heart failure patients who had an injection fraction less than 35%, despite optimal medical and device therapy, have an ICD in place, and then had to have a high risk feature, either walk less than 400 meters, have a high BMP, or have a hospitalization. So, so basically, sick basically sick people. Right. Okay. Average ejection fraction is 25%, and 90% plus were class three. So the patients were randomized and both groups got a bone marrow, both groups got intramyocardial injection to an enhanced bone marrow product called Ixmylacel T. Okay, so let me interrupt because it's important to point out these are transcatheter injections, subendocardial. Exactly, exactly, and both groups got it, so the placebo and the treatment group. And the cell is an enhanced bone marrow product, so each patient, it's an autologous bone marrow, but then it's expanded for two weeks so that the product itself is more of an enhanced product. Okay, what'd you find? So what we found is, and again, double-blind placebo control designed to look at events, and the events were death and cardiovascular hospitalizations and on-planned clinic visits. But it was really driven by death and cardiovascular significant reduction events in the cell-treated patients. Wow, so these are hard endpoints for the first time that seem to be different. Yep, clearly significant. And if you do the modified intent to treat or the PER protocol, both of them were significant, either less than 0.03 or less than 0.01. Okay. And so uh, I guess the next question is, that's very exciting. Patients felt better, I'm sure, as well. Yeah. Uh, did their ejection fractions get better? So the ejection fraction improvement is always very modest. So it's about two percentage points, and it was in both groups. A little trend towards the cell, but certainly not statistically significant. Now, I will say, uh, these patients all had ICDs, and we only did echoes. So it's not the most sensitive way to look at ejection fraction, but clearly no difference. And what what we've seen with cell therapy is that the improvement in outcomes is better than the improvement in symptoms, which is better than the improvement in ejection fraction. Well, that's a perfect way of putting it. So what's the next step, Tim? Because obviously this is still a phase two trial. It is, but I, this is exciting because it was completely double blind. There's a lot of these patients out there. So class three heart failure patients, it's, uh, you know, we know heart failure is uh, the biggest cause of morbidity and mortality in the United States. So what we need now is larger trials. Trials need to be double blind placebo controlled with more modified cells. So the first level of autologous bone marrow is probably not good enough because there's so much variability. Uh, I, not, as we get older, the number of our stem cells and the potency decline. So we need these enhanced or uh, new ways to do it. And uh, I'm excited about this. Well, uh, for the first time, we have a peek at something that may really be exciting in stem cell therapy. Tim, that's awesome work. We look forward to the bigger trials. Thank you. Great to be here.